Now tell me about college placement right now. Obviously, the transfer portal is making things tougher to get kids straight from high school and prep school into the college ranks. And you now have to place two post-grad teams worth of players at to the next level. And you guys aren't really near other prep schools, right? So you're kind of out there in the middle of nowhere. How do you place your kids? How do you get coaches to the gym? Like, what do you tell families for this? Yeah, so the the names get the coaches to the gym. And and the the history and the re, the receipts, right? We have we have a lot of receipts, Corey. Right now, we have more active Division One players than any other program in the country. And I, I there's also a couple reasons that one we have more programs than than most programs in the country. And so, ten out of twelve of our top post grad kids are going D one next year. I'm gonna make a graphic and we'll post that next week. Almost all of our seniors on our high school team went Division One. Uh, one of them's coming back to do a post-grad year with us. And once he's a full qualifier, he'll be a Division One player too. And so th- this this last year, we had over 50 active Division One players. And so, and they're not just active Division One players. We had two kids in their respective conferences that were freshmen of the year. We had another kid that was sixth man of the year. So our kids, once, I, like I just told you, they're more prepared than any other freshman. So they're going in and making instant impact. And so you don't just have high major coaches that are recruiting the McDonald's all Americans, five stars and four stars, but you also tap into the mid majors and low major schools because we have such an array to choose from. And so here, here's a great settle to parents, Corey. If they can come to Branson, Missouri, and they can see over 30 prospects that are potential division one players, or they can go to, I don't know, let, let's say, Colorado Springs, Colorado, and they go into gym and they're only going to see one prospect that they're trying to get for their time and their energy. And for some of these low major schools and, and mid major schools, their budget is, is smaller. So they need to go make the most bang for their buck. And so they come to Branson and they got so many to pick from and they, and they know the kid's going to be developed. 